Hi everyone, welcome to Fire Soul Tarot. Today I'm going to be doing a reading about your future spouse nature during your physical or passionate times. So, um, as I was, um, you know, I shuffled uh, before um, uh, shooting this video, I, I shuffled the cards for the three groups and I've had a look at them. Um, and uh, then I, I channeled the messages already that um, came through on my notebook, on my journal. Um, and you know, the, the way these messages have come out, uh, it's extremely deep. Um, and I'm actually glad it, it uh, came out this way because personally I believe that uh, sensuality is um, something very sacred um, and a very important way of exchanging energy with other people and so um, anyway this is just to tell you that um, this is going to be a very um, a very deep reading for what I've seen so far. And then I'm going to pull some uh, tarot cards with the tarot of uh, sexual magic and with the Casanova tarot to um, get more about uh, your future spouse nature during your uh, sensual encounters. Okay, so pile one, pile two, pile three. And uh, just to remind you before you go for your choice, that uh, at the end of the month I will be uh, offering a free personal reading of uh, 30 minutes length at the end of June. So uh, if you want to participate, you have to subscribe the channel, leave me a yellow heart in the comment section and uh, like this video. Okay, so I'll see you at your pile. I pile one if you picked uh, the moonstone crystal and uh, yeah, and I mean this bunch of cards. This is your reading, so I'm going to show you first the cards and I'm going to read you what I channeled already from looking at them. So we have the mask, the tree of life, uh, find the balance, lighten up, breathe through the tension, take a reality check and then the fox. So, um, I'll tell you what I channeled from these two cards and then I'm going to tell you uh, what else I think about the rest, which anyway, it's very connected. Um, so, okay, so your future spouse um, through the physical passionate times with you will be able to finally fully express their sensuality. In your sensual encounters, they'll, they'll show you that anything is possible. Any fantasies you or them have can come to reality. It's going to be an expansive experience for both of you. This is going to allow you both to explore sides of yourselves in essential matter that you hadn't before. Um, I feel a great sense of freedom in taking any role in our passionate times and be any way you want. Every encounter will be unique and you'll both discover something new each time and it will give you great relief not having to suppress any desires. So this was, was exactly what came out of the mask card. Because the mask is often seen as something that um, you hide you know, something from, like when you put on a mask, you're hiding something. But in this case, with this archetype card, it's actually um, the mask you put it on to show a side of you that you have never been able to show before. And so the interpretation of this card is actually quite the opposite. And um, it's also um, highlighted the concept that uh, in theater, you know, for example, in a Greek theater, um, whatever emotion wanted to be shown um, during the play was the mask that was chosen for that character. So if a character was, wanted to show happiness, they would put on a smiley mask, for example, and vice versa if they were sad or whatever expression, If uh, you know. So they were choosing the mask depending on what they wanted to express. Now in the content, content uh, sorry, in the context of this reading, 
this means that uh, your future spouse is going to allow you to express any side of your uh, sensual uh, desires that you want so this is going to be a very um a very free experience very um, you know empowering whereby you're going to be able to um, come out of completely of your shell and uh, they're going to create the space for you to do that um and I see also a lot of hurty energy in this spread because we have both the fox, which is the hurt element, and we have this um, with this tree of life, which also is very hurty. So I see um, this to be a, a very authentic type of encounter. Um, so your future spouse is going to, to pull out from you. They're very authentic in their in their sexuality, and they're going to pull out from you the same type of uh, authenticity. You're not going to feel like uh, you want to hide anything, uh, any any fantasies, any desires, anything that you want to explore with them. They're going to be ready and embracing this with you. Um, and uh, and I see this person to be very solid. They're going to make you feel comfortable. Um, you see the fox uh, is a very smart uh, animal and uh, therefore um, um, this intelligence is going to be what allows you to feel a hundred percent that you can trust this person because they're smart because they are uh, fully present in the moment um, also the fox um, is a wise teacher, so uh, this person is going to probably um, show you things that you have never explored before, things that you even even maybe thought about, even never thought about, and they're going to uh, you know be with you there and in this um, very um, uh, very free uh, free experience. Um, and also, um, they're quick to learn. The fox is a quick learner. So they're going to quickly learn everything you like, everything uh, that makes you shiver, everything that... Uh, so this is going to be somebody that's um, very interested in learning about uh, what you want from this encounter. And, um, and is going to try to, therefore, um, uh, you know please you in this encounter uh, so somebody that is uh, curious of uh, understanding the other and so it's not going to be a selfish lover in fact i also see the full moon in libra which is all about the balance find the balance um, there is going to be a balance between giving and taking in this um, in these sensual encounters so there's going to be a very good exchange of energy uh, both sides and um and then there's going to be a very light-hearted energy as well with the lighten up the last quarter moon in leo so this person is going to make you feel uh, also not only free but also very um, light-hearted -heart as you go about this uh, you're probably going to laugh together as you enjoy these times there's going to be even like some um nice fun uh, hu humor you know about it like uh, it's going to be uh, a lot of fun that I see here. Um, and then breathe, breathe through the tension. So I think you're going to feel this intensity about uh, the, you know, with the Scorpio, full moon in Scorpio, you're going to feel very intense, these encounters. Uh, they're going to be extremely deep and passionate and intense. And uh, there's going to be a, pro probably a lot of heavy breathing that I can see from this card um there you're probably going to exchange your breath with each other a lot like um you're going to be entangled with each other deeply so i see uh, like um something very um not overwhelming but um you're gonna get lost into this experience um it's it's going to be all enwrapping you so you are not going to even um, anymore care about what time, what day, you know, you're going to be losing sense of time and and space in this 
moment that you share um, or in these moments that you share and then take a reality check full moon in capricorn there's going to be also a lot of um i think practical skills that this person has you know capricorn is uh, an action uh, driven person and also but also like uh, very calculated action so i see like this person uh, literally exploring your body seeing what uh, makes you do what and and then it's like it's like a pianist learning the keys you know and or, or you know like a yeah like a music player learning the how the instrument works and how best you know then then how best to pull out that uh, melody out of them so this tells me that you're going to be very also vocal during these encounters and uh, this person is going to make you reach um, your peak every time so it's, it's going to be a, a careful uh, a, a careful um, gathering of um, tools and things in order to make you feel fully satisfied this is what i see here um so yeah extremely beautiful let's see more for uh, with this tarot now i'm going to move this up to leave space for the tarot and let's see what else can we get so um for pile number one what is their future spouse nature very passionate with the uh, queen of wands they're going to see you as extremely attractive. Um, they're going to um, admire you as you get undressed. Um, they're going to make you feel uh, very beautiful. Like, um, you know, they, they, they don't want to miss anything about you. That um, you're like a goddess or something like that. Like, if you're a female and a woman and if you're a man they, that you're a god so they're going to really make you feel good about yourself first of all and you're going to gain a lot of confidence out of these encounters and uh, then there is the moon everything that uh, is not being discovered is going to be unveiled and um, and pulled out in the sun in the light in the um, in the moonlight so everything that uh, was not discovered is going to come up to light and it's going to be very emotional. The, your person is very watery, very emotional, fiery and emotional at the same time. Let's see. So there is like, uh, it's a meeting of the hearts as well as of uh, extremely burning passion. And four of cups. This is going to, this is going to lead to a lot of, um, um, hold on, let me find the word. Yeah, so you're going to feel after these sexual encounters that um, the two of you share a lot of complicity, a lot of, um, like you, you know, that uh, a lot of intimacy. Um, you're going to feel um, very close to each other, that you do have, a, have an understanding of each other, that, uh, that only you two understand each other fully. This is what I see. So it's going to lead to a lot of... Um, feeling of unity between the two of you uh, as in um, just the two of you share this and and that you are fully with each other in it it's like a secret that you only share with each other nobody else can uh, come into this nobody else can understand it fully yeah it's like uh, and it's going to be magnetic i see the magnet here you're going to feel magnetically pulled to each other um let's see some more yeah as i said your person is going to make you feel uh, safe and welcome then that they're supportive of you um that they want to listen to you to your desires your uh, so your your uh, future spouse uh, is going to be extremely uh, attentive to you to your needs to your desires in the passionate uh, way um, they're going to make you feel like you're looked after and that uh, there's nothing you need to worry about because they're there to, you know, to support you in everything you want. Um, so yeah, a lot of co good communication. I see a lot of great communication between the Four of Cups and the Nine of Wands and, and a lot of passion as well. We have the Queen of Wands and the, 
and the nine of wands so two wands cards and then the emotions of the cups and the moon so it's going to be emotional and passionate at the same time there's a balance between uh, water and fire and the emperor yeah your uh, future spouse is very masculine if uh, you know in reverse it if it's uh, you know if if you fit better on the other role um your future spouse is a uh, is a person that's going to take charge of the situation they're going to make sure that um, they understand the task at hand they're going to you know a, an emperor is somebody that um, is a, you know somebody that makes strategies somebody that um, has a plan so uh, your future spouse knows what they're doing they have experience, they have uh, their wisdom, even in this matter, you know. I mean, not everybody is like that, but they do. They have uh, a lot of experience and they know what is best. Um, but then they're going to also listen to you because uh, as, for as much experience as they have, they have the humble, you know, hum humble side of them as well. Like they, they have this humble side that tells them, well, you still need to listen because even if you have experience, this person might be working differently from whoever else you have experienced before, if anybody. So, you know, uh, I see um, a very, um, a person with a lot of um, understanding of uh, what is, uh, what they're supposed to be um, towards you in these uh, encounters, like um, what can they offer, you know? Somebody that puts them themselves at your service, I see. And wants to make sure to provide everything that uh, you want, that you desire. And um, let's see more. Well, two more came out. I was only looking for one, but uh, I see two. Oh, wow, look at this. The king of wands now comes out. You're going to be a perfect match, uh, pile one. The queen and the king of wands. This is a match uh, made in heaven. So the two of you are... Uh, you know, potential uh, divine counterparts as well. Um, you could be twin flames if that resonates with you. And uh, anyway, I see um, both of you are very instinctual in the sensual encounters, in the passionate times. And their nature is to protect you anyway. I see the cloaks and the, the attitude of this king is very welcoming very protective uh, driven by passion for sure but uh, there is um there is this very uh, protective nature of them wanting the best for you really caring for you this is what i see here deeply caring and then i see the judgment you share a soul bond with this person um you're going to form a family uh, and um, I see the red string of fate, let's say, you know, the two of you are fated to meet. And um, and this is protected by the angels. This union, this sensual union, is protected by the angels. And um, yeah, you two are going to be um, a family. Um, you know, the, the, it's a sacred, essential union I see here with these cards, with the judgment card. And so, yeah, um, this is part of your uh, life journey. This is part of your life purpose. And this is what I see. Uh, let me see now. I want to check with the Casanova tarot deck as well. Um, let's see. Okay, the Four of Cups again, so this is repeating twice. If you're seeing 4-4, four, four, this is a, an extra confirmation for you that this is the reading for you. Uh, with the Four of Cups here, I see uh, that uh, you two are going to feel very at ease with each other. I see a lot of comfort with each other. Um, so during, after and before your sens sensual encounters, you're going to be um feeling like at home this is what i'm getting and i get the same feeling from the the, the theory of life type of card a feeling of home stability um 
also again this is the symbol of uh, the soul tribe so you're going to f form the soul a soul tribe with your future spouse this is your future spouse is definitely your soulmate uh, it's part of your soul family it's part of your f soul tribe he or she um okay let's see more three okay three is this is the empress so they're going to look at you as uh, the most beautiful person they've ever been with the most attractive uh, uh, the most enjoyable in every single way um very prosperous uh, very very fertile they're going to see you as uh, the mother or father take it as it resonates for you of their children they're going to immediately understand that uh, you are the one for them, you know, through these sensual encounters they're going to discover that they want you to be the parent of their child. And uh, yeah, they, they're going to feel uh, like they're going to show you the best you've ever had. I think uh, I see the expression on the Empress. She's fully satisfied now regardless of your gender. So this is going to be very, extremely satisfactory for you. Um, I'll tell you what, as I was even just not even shuffling, the moon card fell on the ground, so I'm just going to take it because this is uh, just, uh, I mean, it's uh, incredible uh, that it just fell off the deck from my hands randomly, and uh, so I'm just going to take it, uh, and so this is double confirmation of the fact that uh, it's going to be extremely emotional, uh, your, uh, your future spouse nature in the sensual encounters is very emotional, so there is an emotional bond that forms anytime they share a physical uh, touch with you physical uh, passionate times with you it is going to be strengthening um, further and further your emotional bond to each other your love for each other and uh, let's see the other uh, few cards that want to come out what else Six of Pentacles, I mean, uh, to be honest with you, this comes with find the balance. This is uh, perfectly matching uh, this card because the Six of Pentacles is all about uh, giving and taking in a fair amount, in the equal amount between each other, a fair ex exchange of energy, which is exactly what I said about the find the balance. Libra is all about this kind of balance. We see the scales here. So uh, it's a repetition here, it's a confirmation of what we already said, that uh, there is going to be mutual equal exchange of energy during this encounter, even in practical terms. You give them pleasure, they give you pleasure. It's going to be equal and fair. Nobody is going to be left uh, unsatisfied in these encounters. Let's see more. The world. You're going to feel uh, a sense of uh, completion. Um, so the nature of your future spouse in the essential encounters is to make you reach your uh, full, uh, you know, spectrum of pleasure, as we said, reaching the peak, concluding, you know, this is literally the card that the peaks in this kind of context of this reading. When you, when you finish, when you conclude, when you come, when you're there and fully satisfied, um so it's going to be very satisfying for what i can see this uh their nature is to be giving enough for you to reach your peak all the time there's not going to be laziness in this uh person's uh, sensual encounters with you you know their nature is to be um in a way that they want you to be fully satisfied so you know the dedication of the fox okay three more cards wanted to come and wow look at this the three of cups this is the fun card this is what i said about uh, the leo lighten up these encounters are going to lighten up your mood Th these encounters are going to be the the highlight of your day the moment where you are like forgetting about anything that can bother you i'm going to put it right on top of the leo card 
anything that, that could have been bothering you I'm gonna actually lower it down since uh, we're doing this way and so you can see all the cards um, yes we are literally going to lighten up and feel so happy to share this time this fun time with your future spouse it's going to be feeling like a celebration every day I see a lot of um, dedication so it's going to be very often that you're, you two are having uh, physical encounters because you're enjoying it so much that you will want to have it uh, possibly even daily this is what I'm gathering here and um, yeah it's going to be so much fun you're going to laugh together you are going to really have a good time um, here we have the two of wands so more wands there is going to be a lot of uh, passion um, there's going to be also this possibility for you to choose they're going to ask you possibly I, I can see this uh, you know the two of wands is making a choice and they're going to tell you what would you like uh, this or that you might say both, <laughs> but, uh, you know, but, like, they're going to give you plenty of options. They're going to be listening to you. So I'm going to actually put this card onto the... Um, I'm going to put the, the six on to the find the balance, six of pentacles, because that's exactly the clarification. And I'm going to put this card, the two of wands, on top of the nine of wands, because they're going to give you options and listen to you. What do you want? Do you want me to do this or that? What do you prefer today? It's going to be like, uh, you can pick from the, sort of like a, you know, pick and choose what you want. Um, you know, it's it's very nice. And, um, and then we have um, the King of Cups. Okay. So, as I said, there is a balance between passion and emotion. This is a king. This is a mature person that's uh, going to feel a lot of passion and a lot of emotions. The King of Cups is an emotionally intelligent person, somebody that, that uh, has got experience about emotions and how to deal with emotions of others and how to feel deeply. So this is going to be a passionate and deep loving uh, lover. So it's very beautiful, uh, Pile 1. And let's see, we have the, the Page of Swords. Communication is going to be very important. And again, this is telling me about the... I'm going to put this on top of the fox because this is the learner. The page of, uh, of swords is the one card that indicates somebody that's willing to learn. So your, the nature of your future spouse is the willingness to learn about you, what you like, what your preferences are, what you desire, so they can best accomplish... Um, the task of uh, giving you the utmost pleasure that uh, you seek and that you want and that uh, is going to make you feel so uplifted and happy. So I see a beautiful uh, sensual life with your future spouse by one. So uh, I hope you like this and um, that it resonated with you. Uh, if you did, please subscribe the channel to support my work. It's very important for me and um, like the video if you liked it, share it if you think anybody would benefit from it and uh, leave me any comments, I'd love to hear from you what you thought about this reading and, um, and if you have any more suggestions of new readings. Thank you so much for uh, watching and until next time, take good care of yourself. Hi Pride 2, welcome to your reading if you picked the um, Amazonite Crystal. This is your reading, so let me see um, your cards. First we have the flame, we have the broom, the garden, take inspired action and the tiger. So I've uh, pre-shuffled these cards off camera and I've also channeled what um, this gave me as a message. And then I'll add uh, the extra message that I got. And then we'll go to Tarot. So your future spouse is going to ignite a flame in you every time you have passionate encounters. Your sensual times will leave you feeling a sense of purpose in your life as everything makes sense to you. And, it'll make, and it will make you feel like life is a sacred gift. 
I see sacred sexuality for five two. Your intimate times together will feel like you're celebrating you're celebrating life and the beauty of it. Your sensual encounters together will leave you feeling like you want to protect the sacred moments you shared with your spouse. Your passionate times together will lead you to clarity of mind and they are going to be mind-blowing and transform transformative. I see candles being lit before starting physically connecting with your future spouse and I also see passionate love making by the fireplace. Um, so what I gather here is that um, your future spouse is extremely fiery in nature, uh, in the physical encounters. I see the flame and I see the tiger and this is another fire element. So they are going to ignite the same type of passion in you as well. It's going to be very, very strong, very intense. I also see a very kinky side of your future spouse with the broom and the sweep. They're going to, first of all, uh, wipe away any anything at all that um, it's like old bad memories, if you have any in, you know, in your past. I see them uh, clearing out the way for new renewed energy in uh, your sensual encounters a rediscovery of something uh, that for you is um, um, is going to feel um, very you know very hot very um, like you're going to feel like fireworks with this person for what I see here um, and as well, it's going to, with this take inspired action, it's going to be like a sudden thing, like they're going to catch you off guard. This person is going to have moments of inspiration where they're just going to basically pounce on you. Like, you know, you know how tigers, they, they stare at the prey, they, um, you know, ponder how far the prey is. And then when they feel like the time is right, they just pounce on the prey. And that's going to be the type of uh, um, dynamic I see with your future spouse. They're very instinctual in nature. So anytime they will feel like uh, pouncing on you, let's say, they're just going to do it, you know, <laughs> no matter what the circumstances. Um, it could be even in a public space, as I see the garden here. So um, they're going to just follow their instinct and, uh, and be just caught in the moment of inspiration and <laughs> there's no stopping them you know mm, your person is also has got a lot of strength a lot of body strength stamina so i see a, a very intense and you know um, very strong encounter um and yeah there's going to be passion uh, i mean off board like out of the norm you know, this is an extremely passion-driven person with the flame and the tiger. And as well, they have, um, they have some sides of them that, uh, you know, they're um, quite um, explorative. Like, I mean, they want to try new things with you as well. So uh, in the moment of inspiration, they will suggest uh, anything that comes to mind. And they're going to hope that you will uh, take on it, you know, take on this offer, take on this adventure you know they're a very adventurous person for what i can gather from these cards so they're up for the thrill for uh, the thrill of uh, risking to be caught for the thrill of starting something different and new uh, it's going to be like uh, a constant uh, you know thrill <laughs> this uh, essential encounters between the two of you and uh, you're going to you're going to like not being able to um, tame the flame you know like a flame uh, it can only be tamed if you suffocate the oxygen so if you literally you know uh, take off the oxygen of the flame but otherwise a, a fire can spread very quickly you know a fire takes only one minute to spread from uh, one little point to the entire room so it's going to be like um, a very I, I see a lot of uh, fast action in this encounter it's not a slow and sensual, um, like, it's not like a slow motion. I actually saw them more in pile one. But this is more like uh, an intense and, and uh, 
you know um, fast and very um, primal type of uh, love making that I see here so um, get ready for that <laughs> I mean uh, it's gonna be so intense you won't even uh, recognize yourself like it's gonna be very transformative um, you know that's that's what flames do like uh, they transform uh, something into something else when you burn something there is a, an alchemy going on there is a transformation so you're going to feel that transformation when this is happening you know it's going to be the type of uh, sensual encounter that's going to leave you transformed not just like you were before so if you, if you have never experienced this you know get ready because this is a this is your future spouse you know um so let's see and you know the flame can burn you as well so you need to learn how to handle it you need to learn how to handle this person um let's see seven of wands yeah more wands uh this is the passionate uh, side that comes out again as i said as you see in this picture uh, they're uh, getting at it in public in the in the open air in the open space this person has a uh, sort of no limits for what i see um by the way j could be their initial if that resonates with you um they could be 20 years old or be born on the 11th or on the 8th they could be born on in uh, august and be a leo they could be born uh, on the 11th and be a scorpio they could also have virgo in their chart let's see more two of pentacles okay let me reflect for one minute here okay so first of all I, what i see from these two pictures is that your future spouse is going to admire your back side your shoulders your back and your bottom and they they love this part of you and you know and it could be the same uh, if it's uh, not a woman uh, but a man and you might just like the shoulders and the bottom i mean that's valid for any gender so regardless of the gender but also i see this person uh, the you know the the physical uh, encounter between the two of you uh, will involve a lot of uh, the sense of smell there's going to be great chemistry between the two of you and uh, this person love they, they have a very strong sense of smell your future spouse so um they're going to probably like as they kiss you they're going to take you all in with their sense of smell you know like they're going to be basically uh, sort of taking in all, all your scent they're going to love that and this is what i'm getting from this card and they are also going to be busy understanding what's the best way to go. You know, the two pentacles is about uh, juggling different things. So it could be that, you know, as they're kissing you, they're also using their hands. Uh, or as they are using maybe their tongue, they are also um, using something else, which I'm not going to say here for YouTube reasons, you know, they might, they might be going in deep if you know what i mean so um they, it's just like you know i think uh, they're going to use whatever means that that is going to bring you bring your flame light up within yourself you know so um, either it be like uh, touching your ear and as well other parts of your body at the same time so that you get the most pleasure out of it so it's gonna be like uh, i'm actually feeling really getting warm as well like as i'm doing this reading so i think that's gonna be the feeling you get you're gonna feel like this uh overwhelming uh, you know excitement coming over you and it's gonna be like i see a lot of sweating uh, wanting to get undressed because it's like it's just too much to take it's like I'm actually going to take off the layer. Sorry, I'm just literally feeling this. Gosh, pile two. This is crazy. I actually didn't feel this way on in, with pile one, but <laughs> like I literally had to take off uh, nearly all my layers. I only have a, a tank top now because it's just uh, I just feel like burning right now. 
So this is what they're going to feel. They're going to be feeling like uh, the temperature is rising, honestly, in the room. And you're going to want to probably open the window. <laughs> or, you know, or you're going to have a lot of passionate time outdoor, I see. Because um, the heat is going to be um, reaching a, a point of overwhelm. This is what I'm gathering here. I mean, I'm, I'm literally boiling. I don't know. It's uh, very strange. I didn't feel like that at all with pile one. So this is just like uh, this is your pile. This is what your pile is giving me as a as I'm channeling this. It's, uh, it's crazy, honestly. I wonder how I, will I feel when pile three comes up. Um, the high priestess. Uh, this person wants to. Uh, this person will want to um, discover you and. And literally unravel you like uh, uh, basically uh, take off one layer after the other to understand uh, um, what makes you feel uh, good and um, and you know they see you as a very intriguing uh, person somebody that is so alluring and somebody that uh, is a bit of a mystery and uh, and they're all into discovering and uh, engaging into the into unraveling this mystery so it's uh it's going to be very interesting uh, and i see also the playfulness with the with the kitten here there's going to be playfulness and this person might really like your feet so they might um you know even lick lick your feet you know this is uh, i see that you know that, as i said uh, your um, future spouse has got uh, um, this um, kinky side to them, uh, experimentative, so expect anything from them. Um, this is all I can say, get ready. <laughs> I'm just uh, channeling this and it feels like also, um, I see this, uh, this sort of um, um, leg ba uh, bangles, you know, and they're like with um, those kind of... Um, and you know these are the type of uh, bells you know sort of bells and so i think uh, the, the message i get from this is that they're going to make you produce a lot of uh, different sounds um so it's going to be a, a, a very encompassing experience in terms of all the senses the sense of smell the sound the heat, uh, the touch, it's like, it's very sensory, like, uh, but, but in a very overall type of, um, you know, it's going to involve all the senses, literally, like, let me see if what else I can see here, yeah, again, I see outdoor here, there's going to be a lot of that outdoor action that I can see, let me see more, The King of Wands, very fiery, very fiery person. This is more like, uh, it's confirming once again that uh, this person is driven by passion, 100%. But they're also going to be very protective of you, covering you with the, with this cloak when you're outdoor, you know. And they're going to make sure that uh, you feel safe, even if you're outdoor doing all this. Um, and let me see here. Okay, the the judgment. You're going to have a form a family together. You're going to, to conceive children. Uh, your soulmates with this judgment card. This is a sacred union uh, watched over by the angels, and um, there is a strong soul bond that uh, links you. Um, so this is this your future spouse is part of your soul tribe. Right, let me see more with the Casanova Tarot deck. I want to see what uh, comes out through this. Let's see. What's the nature of um, Pile 2 in Future Spouse? This wants to come out. Well, 3, but I'll, let me shuffle more. What's their nature? The Eight of Swords. I think the... the I think the sensual encounter is going to be so intense that at times you're going to need to take a rest because it's going to feel like um, uh, it's probably too much to take, <laughs> you know. 
and so you're going to need uh, bedtime <laughs> rest time where uh, you know you might even uh, want to see uh, a doc like a, you know either a, a doctor that's specifically you know looking after your um, private parts <laughs> because um, sometimes you're going to feel like uh, a bit overwhelmed with this <laughs> Honestly, that's what I see here. Um, so you're going to look after yourself in that way and take uh, appropriate uh, rest time. You know, kind of, you know, a moment of relaxation because uh, this is intense, let me tell you. This is very intense. You're looking for, like, you know, this is... <laughs> nearly, I was saying, you're looking for trouble, you know, with this person, like... Uh, but it's going to be a nice type of trouble, but you're going to need your time to recover. <laughs> Death. I mean, more intense than that. Like, with death, I can see that uh, when uh, you're going to have these sensual encounters, you're going to literally pass out after. In terms of, like, um, you, you're just going to fall asleep uh, like a baby. <laughs> because you're completely worn out. Honestly, this is what I see here. It's incredible, like... And this is going to be a transformative, uh, as I said many, many, many times, a transformative experience. You're going to feel brand new after it, you know, after you take your uh, good uh, nap after. You're going to feel, uh, when you wake up, you're going to be the happiest person in the world, very satisfied. And it's going to be a transformation for you. Um, oh, more wands. <laughs> the knight of wands I mean this person is going to charge forward full speed full strength this person has got stamina the horse is all about physical force and stamina, resistance this is going to go on rounds and rounds, that's why you're going to need naps and naps <laughs> you know, this is uh, literally going to wear, well, wear you out, oh my god the king of wands again <laughs> Sitting on the King of Wands, I mean, this is just a confirmation, uh, pile two. You literally have the King of Passion in your hands, or whatever it is, you know, if it's a male or a female, that's not, this is an energy. This person is, uh, is just the most passionate being you've ever met. <laughs> it's going to be uh, life-changing, you know, if, if you were, maybe before getting married, uh, if you were thinking, oh, when am I, when am I going to have a, a nice, essential life, like an active one, wait and see, this is coming, I mean, uh, this, <laughs> this is what's awaiting you, this is going to be a daily, uh, a daily thing, you know, <laughs> no doubt, uh, this, or more than once a day, even, like, I mean, this person is just going to seek, uh, your attention over and over. I hope you like that, you know? Wow, the chariot, I mean, uh, look at this. You're going to do it anywhere, anytime. Anytime you feel like it. Look at that, the chariot. This is a four moon ca movement type of card. I mean, uh, taking charge again. This person is going to charge on you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like, they're insatiable. This is their nature. They're absolutely insatiable. No matter where you are, no matter what time of the day or night. Oh my god. Like you're in for a, for a treat if that's what you like. <laughs> wow. Oh, I turn up the, the bottom of the deck and look what comes up. The hazel ones. If you are a woman looking for a, a man, this tells me that your man has got a nice one. Like they are very well... Uh, you know, um, they have a gift, if you know what I mean. They are going to give you this gift daily, on the daily, more than once. And you're going to really enjoy it. They have a very powerful one, you know. And if, uh, you know, take it in reverse, uh, if it's uh, a man looking for a woman, they have a good one too, you know. It's like, uh, you, you are going to feel like this every single minute that you're near this person, if you're a man watching, like... Uh, like that you are ready to go every single minute of the day and, and night this person is going to make you feel uh, excited instantly <laughs> wow pile two uh, this is a reading i hope uh, it resonated with you and you like this and um, if you did uh, please subscribe my channel to support my work it's very important for me and um, 
like the video if you liked it and uh, you know um, share it if you think anybody would benefit from uh, watching this reading and leave me a comment i'd love to hear what you think about this reading thank you so much for watching take good care of yourself i put three if you pick this crystal this is a reading um so let's see your uh, your cards you got two archetypes eros and the apocalypsis and then we have the house the home Excuse me, um, we have full moon in Gemini, embrace the flow of life, uh, the unicorn and the bee. Okay, so this uh, I pre-shuffled them before uh, the reading, before uh, uh, the video, shooting the video. And I also channeled what these cards gave me as a feeling of your uh, future spouse's nature. In, uh, the, in the physical times with you, in the passionate times with you. So I'm going to read it. Your future spouse is going to unveil erotic sides of you that uh, had previously been unseen, unheard and unrevealed. You're going to feel relieved that your spouse is allowing for all of that to be brought to life, to be discovered and passionately enjoyed <clears throat> from both of you. A sense of regeneration is going to prevail after every sensual encounter. From this truth revealed, a child will be conceived. Your passionate times together will be raw and truthful, and you'll feel completely safe through the process of unveiling your true sensual nature. Everything will have time and space to reveal itself as your future spouse makes you feel safe to be all unraveled. During your sensual encounters with your future spouse, you will reconnect with the primal longing to merge with another human being. Eros allows us to momentarily unite with everything we perceive it, it uh, is separate from us. And you'll feel that your heart embraces your future spouse's heart. These passionate encounters will awake your life force. You'll feel caught in the labyrinth of love, desire and sensuality. You'll want to explore this labyrinth in every single corner with a curious and honest heart. And though the way is circuitous, you'll always be led toward the center, the sacred love you share with your spouse. So this is what I channeled there from especially these two cards, the Eros and the Apocalypse. I see, you know, an, an Apocalypse is a moment uh, the, of uh, extreme change and transformation. So these encounters with your spouse, uh, like their nature is, is that they're going to change what you know and uh, for, so far about uh, uh, sensual uh, interactions. They'll, uh, they'll make you discover sides and things of yourself that you have never seen before. And uh, so I see they, they're going to bring uh, this uh, Eros energy um, to full uh, life in, within you um, and I see a diamond here so you're going to literally discover something so precious uh, within you and within your future spouse and the two of you are going to pull out these um, you know um, these very good qualities but let's see let's see more so with the house I see um, a sense of safety, you know, feeling home, feeling comfortable with each other in these moments. So your future spouse in their nature, in your uh, affectionate times together, um, they're going to uh, make you feel at home, like very comfortable, like you don't have to hide anything, you know, you can be yourself authentic, 100%. And then we'll see with the, the sexual tarot as well uh, for more uh, details, you know, and the Casanova tarot as well. So, uh, but for now, I want to finish to talk about these cards. And with the Embrace the Flow of Life, this is going to be a free flowing type of experience, you know. You're not going to feel um, in any way blocked, uh, you're not going to feel um, like. Uh, you need to do something specific, you're just going to feel free. Free to express yourself, 
go with the flow of uh, the actions um, and I see a lot of um, fluids so this uh, embrace the flow of life it tells me that there's going to be a lot of um, um, physical sense of fluids pouring out of each other's you know each other's body and uh, the unicorn tells me that this is going to be a unique experience your future spouse's uh, nature is to be very unique in the way they express sensuality so they are also somebody that um, uh, probably will do with you things that you have never tried before um, and they're going to um, you know have a lot of um, uh, eye to eye type of contact because the unicorn is uh, you know the, I see the eyes of the unicorn fixated on whatever is in front of them and also the unicorn is a magical being so you're going to feel um, there is um, some uh, like a um, there is some magic in uh, what's happening between the two of you so you, you know we really like I don't, I don't think we feel magic in life as often but during this experience let me tell you pile three um, you are literally going to de rediscover the magic in life and so it's going to be very very a very deep experience uh, for you something completely new that uh, you might have not felt before or if you did uh, you know um, this is going to be though um, now a stable in a stable aspect of your life because you're going to form a family together and you're going to share this every single day by the way k could be their initial one of their initials and uh, they could be born in april being an aries um, and with the b i see a lot of meticulous work being put by this person to make you feel satisfied um, so this is a very um, dedicated person like uh, you know there they have uh, the objective of making you feel happy and satisfied and and uh, you know they want you to discover all of this uh, passion within you and aspects that you have never explored and so i see them uh, putting in uh, every single bit of effort in order to accomplish this in order to make you discover all the different uh, aspects of uh, the love making and also with the bee i see a sweetness about this you're going to feel like they're very sweet in um, you know in guiding you through this experience um and they're going to be very active you know the bees when they're flying their wings are uh, are flapping really fast so they're going to be very attentive and, uh, and very busy making you feel uh, at home comfortable and uh, satisfied and that something magical is happening between the two of you but let's see more details with the tarot so i'm going to pull this up uh, <clears throat> and i see i see <clears throat> excuse me i also see the air element with the b <clears throat> excuse me and uh, and the Gemini, which is also an air sign, so air could be very relevant in the birth chart of your future spouse. But also, um, this tells me that, um, you know, air is connected to, in the tarot, it's connected to the swords, and swords are connected to thoughts and words, expression through words. So I see that there is going to be a lot of dirty talking. Your person is going to... Um, you know whisper to you everything they want to do to you and they're going to ask as well questions to you about what you want to um, be done what you like like they want to listen to you and uh, what you have to say about this um, they're going to be very inquisitive uh, and there is going to be a lot to do with the voice so you probably will love their voice their voice will probably turn you on you know what i mean so um, I see a lot of um, communication going on in the sense of sound um, so they, they will uh, make you you know produce sound as well if you know what I mean um, so you know the intensity will be uh, expressed a lot through the voice the, ex the, the strong intensity that I see with the apocalypse and the arrows card 
uh, this strong intensity of the essential encounter is going to be expressed a lot through your voices, both of you. So there's going to be a lot of that. And um, yeah, you're going to feel like uh, you're on another planet with this unicorn card as well, I see. You know, it's like, you know when, uh, when like you're completely in the moment and you completely lose track of... Uh, time space and reality you know with those kind of moments with this person is going to be like that that uh, nothing else matters in that moment when you're with them and sharing this very intense time and um, yeah you're just going to feel like uh, soulmates you see the two uh, fi human figures um, facing each other you could be twin flames by the way um, and, uh, and soulmates as well, like, uh, just um, reflect, re you know, being like the reflection of each other, being in sync, I see this kind of being in sync, going with the flow, the movement as well, like, um, I see a lot of um, dynamic movement between the two of you, so it's going to be fluid, a fluid movement, you two, you two, when you're moving together, you know, during the essential encounter, it's going to be that, kind of movement that is in perfect sync there is no um, there is not any moment where the two of you will feel like uh, you're out of sync or oh I wish he, you know he or she moved faster or like there is going to be a very good under the bodies the two bodies of you that's this is what I see here your bodies are going to speak to each other in this fluidity Literally, the, there is going to be a lot about movement and uh, and words exchange and sounds exchange. So it's going to be like um, a, like a beautiful music, like beautiful harmony between the two of you. This is what I'm getting from these cards. Let me see more though with Tarot. I want to check what else I get. It feels very watery, you know. Mm. This is love making. I, I see a lot of fluids. Okay, now <laughs> talking about fluids pouring. Look, the temperance card. So I see this again. You have these fluids coming out of these containers. This is again a symbolism of the amount of uh, fluids that's going to be pouring out uh, of this vessel of these vessels, which are your bodies. And I see the storks at the back, so bear in mind that uh, this will lead to children, you know, to conceiving. Um, so if you don't want to conceive, I see a lot of um, raw, you know, essential moments, like there is uh, no protection. No... So if you don't want to conceive children straight away, you might want to find some other ways of, um, uh, you know, um, controlling the, the birth having birth control because uh, this this is going to be just uh, the way this person their nature they don't want any barriers between the two of you so it's going to be raw completely always there is not going to be one time when this person will, wouldn't want to let's say pour their fluids you know what i mean into you so i'm just saying like uh, be mindful of that if you don't want immediately uh, have children together you know you you have to look after that as aspect because i really see it in this spread uh, over and over let's see <clears throat> okay these two want to come out actually these three the wheel yes this person is going to pull out of you all the different aspects of you you see the way this is confirming exactly what we said about the Apocalypse, apocalypse. Um, this person is going to make you unveil. We already said it in the channeling here. Um, I, I said I said it already here that uh, unveil erotic sides of you that had previously been unseen, unheard, and unrevealed. You see the three different sides here of the three women different color of hair, different posture, different attitude, they're going to pull it all out of you. So this is a confirmation. Uh, with the emperor, this is an experienced person. 
it reminds me of the bee very very prepared very you know they know what they're doing the bees know what they're doing when they are uh, going from flower to flower very methodically taking the pollen and by doing that they're actually also mixing the pollens and and therefore um, between the flowers and, and therefore there, there's going to be a, then a, a fruit developing which is the baby in your case you know so um, this is very strong message that uh, there is going to be a, a birth of a child out of this exchange of uh, sensual encounters uh, i mean i see a lot of round imagery which reminds me of uh, the egg that gets fertilized um so pile three this is a very uh, very very strong message you see the full moon this is a very strong message about uh, producing a child, like, uh, you know, conceiving a child here. So uh, this is a very strong message repeating for me many, many times. And um, so your person has got skills, they've got experience in uh, terms of sensual matter. And uh, your person know, knows what they're doing. So they know what they're doing. And so they are going to pull out of you everything that they need, like in terms of um, all the sensuality that you have not discovered yet is going to come out with uh, this person, definitely. All the diamonds, I see another diamond here, look how many diamonds we got. This one, these diamonds here, some sort of, you know, sitting on the bottom, on the floor. There is going to be uh, this rough, the, you know, the diamond is a, is a crystal, a very precious crystal that, that forms in the rough of the rocks. They're going to pull out this beautiful, uh, pure crystal, which is your sensuality uh, during the sensual encounters, out of the rough, out of the, out of the hidden, because diamonds uh, grow in the, um, between rocks, so it's like they're hidden. So they're going to unveil all, all of this uh, raw sensuality that you do possess and you have, that you have, might have never fully discovered and might have never fully uh, expressed and they're going to bring this out of you. And yeah, I see a lot of sensuality here, like uh, the fruits, you know, the pomegranate, the, the red of the pomegranate. I see this, uh, this red here of this heart i don't know it's like what is this a flower the red flower of this passion that's going to be extremely raw and uh, authentic between the two of you look at this i mean the the knave of wands how more of a raw card do you want to get like this is pure passion exploding between the two of you it's like they are they are entangled with each other they don't want to disconnect their you know, the, there is this, uh, you are going to feel completely abandoned in their arms, you know, like, um, as in, you can, you can just, they can take over you, you know what I mean? It's like, take over me, take me, that's what I'm getting from this card. You know, it's like, uh, there is no limit to what we can do together, so, uh, and this reminds me of something very phallic to be completely honest so this person uh, you know is gifted i mean as well uh, we can't show it in this picture but this is a, another phallic image this person has got it uh, right if you know what i mean <laughs> so you have a gifted person pile three waiting for you and you're gonna feel like that just do it <laughs> just do it already <laughs> So, I want to take more with the Casanova Tarde. Actually, I take a few more with the, with this. Um, let me take uh, maybe a couple more with the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Um, wow, the Eight of Cups. This is also like a romantic person. They're going to invite you. Before uh, having the essential encounters, they're going to invite you over with flowers with the um, possibly like dan wanting to dance with you and you know create these uh, beautiful harmonious movements together like start uh, getting the body ready in terms of uh, 
um, the body are going to be in this dance together, you know, as you as you make love, as well as before if they, you know, because dancing sometimes uh, can really put your bodies in sync. So if you listen to music and dance together, that will lead to even more. Uh, well, first of all, you can very get very excited just by dancing together. For what I see here, and also then your bodies will feel in sync, and that sync will continue as you engage more in a in the sensual encounter, prop you know properly. And let's see one more, one last card. Wow! Oh my gosh! Look at this. The world. I mean, you're going to reach your peak. This person is going to pull out all the tricks that they have off your sleeves. Um, to make you feel uh, to the top of the world do you see the open mouth and the expression of uh, this person here like this is when you reach the big ho big o you know and that's what they're going to make you feel like so there you are going to reach a completion with them over and over you know with this with the circle of the um, of the world i also see cycles rounds and rounds and rounds going in, in a circle about it um and and, and as i said uh, this person is uh, experimental uh, they're here kissing your feet they're going to kiss you from feet to head you know working their way up to you i see a lot of skills in the hands as well you see the way this person is touching the knee and then they're probably going to slide and go into other areas. Um, you're going to be well prepared for the for the moment when they're actually giving you the gift. <laughs> you know, so it's going to be very enjoyable. Uh, pipe three. Yeah, let me get now the Casanova deck and we want to see some more about this. What's going to be like? What is the nature of five three future spouse? I can see somebody very skillful with the hands, especially. Um, <clears throat> but probably possibly their tongue too. See the way he's like at their feet, kind of licking her feet. The hermit. Okay, so this person um, is literally going to bring you on a trip to discover sensuality. You see the wand in his hand. So this is a discovery of uh, sensuality and you're going to feel like enlightened after you have these uh, encounters with them. Like that you have discovered something new that you never knew before. Literally something new. You see the hermit goes on a journey to discover uh, and reach enlightenment. This is what, what is going to be feeling for you. It's like you're like Oh, I finally understand what actually sen sensuality is all about. Now I do get it. <laughs> you know, that's, that's what I'm gathering here. Let's see more. Two of swords. I'm just going to double check. Yeah, remember what I said about the words? You see the way this person is talking to the lady there? They're going to be exciting you just with their words. They have this ability of making you feel uh, very watery just by talking to you. This is um, this is going to, you know, they're going to be putting seeds in your brain about what's going to happen next. And by doing that, they are enticing you into, you know, wanting to get undressed and all the rest. So it's like really like alluring this is like this is a journey i can see here you know it's going to start by just whispering to you by talking to you uh, planting the seeds of uh, what's going to come very soon to you and you don't know like feel these light bulbs sparking in your head like one after the other it's going to be a sequence of like moments of uh, okay <laughs> you know like uh, moments of clarity of what's ahead of you and you're going to start enjoying the feeling of the expectations of it you know the the 
that you know that uh, type of thrill that you get even when when you really like somebody and you're just about to kiss and you haven't kissed them yet but you know that kind of moment when you're so close and just about to kiss and you really want it this is a feeling i'm getting here it's like this person uh, is a magnet like it's enticing it's alluring for you it's like they are able to make you feel like I just want to give it all for for this, you know, and give it all to this person. And um, yeah, it's the magic before you kiss. It's the magic before you actually um, get deep into each other, if you know what I mean. That that is the type of magic moment I'm talking about. It's ju just before, and you're going to feel the extreme excitement because it's coming. You know what I mean? It's that kind of excitement. When you know it's coming but it's not there yet uh, that's that's what i'm getting here in this part let me see more the angry man what did i say the expectation the waiting the this person is going to make you you know sometimes some people um, uh, kiss you and then and then as they're kissing you then sometimes they, they come to kiss and then they retract it's like that kind of that kind of uh, pulling you in pulling you in in the expectation of more and it's like it's sort of um and you're like let's just you know let's just do it and, and it makes you want it even more because it's like i give it to you and then and then i don't and then i you know it's like that kind of uh hung man type of energy when you're when you're waiting for for this to happen and, uh, and you're there like just kind of suspended you see the way this man is suspended in the air through a rope it's even dangerous it's, it feels like it feels even um risk you know it's risky you're like you feel vulnerable because you want this and and yet it's not immediately there like so this person is going to give and retreat give and retreat give and retreat so they're going to do this multiple times until you reach the total satisfaction i mean more swords you see what i mean this person is going to play a lot with your mind as well in terms of sensuality putting ideas into you and you know and making you invitations on to what to engage next and then we can do this and then we could do that and then you know, it's like one after the other. You have seven swords. They're going to propose you like seven, seven different things. And then, and then you're going to wait for the seven different things to take place. You know, it's like one after the other. Okay, what's next? What's next? It's like one gift after the other is coming to you and unwrapping in front of you. It's actually beautiful. Let's see more. Okay, three more wants to come. So I'm going to take them all. The two of pentacles, yeah, this person is uh, going to be very busy um, with their hands, their mouth, their tongue, their <laughs> D and everything. So it's like, you know, two of pentacles about juggling. So this person is going to put all their body parts at play um, at, at the same time. It's like, you know, when, uh, you know, a juggler. The juggler's got many balls in their hands and they have to pull them all up and, and keep going, keep going. This person, that's what they're going to do. It's like a juggling type of game. It's like they're going to be pulling all their, their skills into this with any body part, if you know what I mean. And you're going to be like, yeah, I just want to open up to you and just work your magic on me. You see, the magic of the unicorn. What did I say? now let me see more yeah <laughs> look at the pose of this uh, this is the high priestess no sorry this is um sorry I, I got confused because it's the veil but no this is the queen of cups uh, but look at the pose this tells me that you're going to be open to this experience you're just going to be in this receiving energy you know very feminine and uh you know you're gonna be like yeah i'm just waiting for um uh, for this gift to come to me you know what i mean <laughs> so the, this gift that we see here the you know this gift you know 
you know what I mean. So that's what uh, this this is this is a very masculine person that I see in this dynamic. And you're going to be on the receiving end, feeling like, yeah, give me more. And you know, flip it if it's in reverse. Flip it if it's uh, your masculine energy looking for a feminine energy. Your feminine will be open to you, fully open. Just wait, waiting for you to give and ready to receive. So, um, and there is this mystery, you see, about uh, discovery, mystery, unra unraveling the mystery of this uh, sensual encounter. It's uh, very beautiful. Um, and six of cups this is going to be very emotional. The nature of your future spouse is also very emotional. I see the queen of cups and the six of cups. This tells me that your future spouse is also somebody very in touch with their love inside with their emotions you are actually with the six of cups you're probably soulmates and uh, you know you are soulmates and you are um, part of the same soul family um and uh, and this you see this sensual encounter is going to replay over and over in your heads both of you you're going to be thinking you see the two the feminine and the masculine are both going to be thinking about this over and over fantasizing again if, if you are not together at some you know during the day like i mean you're probably not going to be together all day so at the times you're not together you're going to be both reminiscing about these beautiful uh, sensual encounters that you've had and that no matter where you are at work in a formal place this, this looks like a judgment court um anywhere you are you're going to be thinking about this what the two of you shared and and uh, what the two of you exchanged in those very strong emotional and passionate encounters and it's going to replay in your mind so i see uh, fire air and water in this uh, in this um, future spouse this is an all-rounder person they have it all, they have nearly all aspects, you know, and there is also some pentacles here. So, I see really like um, a person that's full of uh, sides and full of, uh, um, full of skills, like practical skills, uh, mind uh, skills, um, and emotional abilities so uh, this is uh, an all-rounder type of uh, spouse you know that you're uh, going to be having so pile three this was your reading uh, i hope you liked it if you did please uh, subscribe the channel it's the best thing to do to uh, support my work and uh, please like the video if you liked it and share it with anyone uh, you think could benefit from watching this and also um, comment please, let me know what you thought about this reading, did you enjoy it, did you like it, uh, even just with an emoji to let me know if it resonated for you. Okay, thank you so much for watching and take good care of yourself.